guys so Zayn and I came out for a little walk and I completely forgot my tripod and I was gonna try to do an absolute lovely video on relaxation so I think I may have to do my video either with me holding it in my hands which is kind of like not ideal or um, trying to do it on next time but it's such lovely weather and Zayna and I are here hi Zayna say hello Zay Zay hi anyway she's not too interested in what's going on here but today's video is about relaxation and I thought it would be perfect to do it from here because it's lovely weather and we're absolutely relaxing in the park today. Um, so basically, you guys know I always speak about like, you know, having a balanced lifestyle and how important it is because like spending quality time with my family is so important to me as a mom, right? And so I try to bring Zayna out as much as I can, especially when it's good weather. We just basically just pack up our little picnic baskets and we just come out and we just have fun. Just the two of us and everything. And so um, I want to go a bit deeper when it comes to just relaxing and just letting go. Because so many times I find like, it, you know, we hear the word relaxation and it seems easy, but it's actually more, e more easier said than done, right? Especially if you're like a super driven person, you're always like on the beat, you're always busy, you're working, you you know, you've got kids, you've got everything going on, right? But it is so important for you to just consciously make the effort to just take some time out, take some time for you if you can, um, spend time with your family and your friends and do the things that you love for yourself, okay? That is what's most important. So let's go a bit more into relaxation when it comes to pregnancy and childbirth specifically. That is super more important because those of you know, like obviously I speak about this because I have used hypnobirthing. That's what hypnobirthing is actually all about. It's just using relaxation techniques, breathing techniques, visualization techniques to be able to help you to have the birthing experience that you desire. Super important, right? But a lot of times during pregnancy, it's just like your overwhelming and stressful environment, like just comes like a thousand times bigger because obviously you're going through this massive change. We have hormonal changes, and so our stress levels begin to fluctuate and go differently. And I always speak about the stress tension um, pain cycle, which is specific to birthing, and I'll go a bit deeper into that when we talk about childbirth. But during relax, during pregnancy, it is so so important that you take the time to. got to realize that as well and, and do it for, for your baby as much as it's for you. So for me during my um my pregnancy stage I would always do it at the end of the day. And then I get myself a routine, my my nighttime routine, sorry, and I would put on my diffuser with my essential oils and, and I share so much about this in my book. Guys you need to go and get my book. It's been released. Side note it is on Amazon. My ebook is now on sale for 99 cents until it goes to 10 pounds. Um, ten dollars when it goes to the original price. So for a limited time, you can get it for ninety nine pounds or ninety nine ninety nine cents. Sorry, ninety nine p. And it is so so good. I speak about my pregnancy, my hit my birthing journey, and of course I spoke I speak about motherhood and this new journey that we're on here with Zena, which I absolutely love. Okay, so let's go back to it. That's a side note. Uh, so go ahead and check my book I'll put the link in the bottom here for you to go and get it and get it while it's on sale or you can wait until it's full price and pay full price that's okay but I'm telling you it is a good read all the reviews are in well not all but some reviews are already in and I am so happy with it because I just know that this my story could help so many women and it's absolutely amazing right side note done so let's go back to pregnancy so i would always put on my diffuser and i put my essential oils on i put my feet up and then i'll put on my visualization script and i might I'll meditate at times as well and i'll always think about like just you know because our visualization visualization scripts you know take us on to a relaxing beaches or a stream or somewhere just totally where we can just let go and just be ourselves in these places right where it's totally about relaxation 
So, um, yeah, that's what, what I did during my pregnancy. And I absolutely enjoyed it because I can tell you, like, when it came to the birthing aspect of it, when I eventually gave birth, it was seriously, I remember that relaxation. I remember how my, my body remembered how it is to relax and to let go. And so it instinctly came and instinctly happened. Um, Zaina's eating bush. Zaina's eating the grass. I don't know why. Zaina, why are you eating the grass? No, 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 no. Right, and so my body obviously had already been in practice with this, and so it was so easy for me just to let go and let it do what it's supposed to do. Of course, our affirmations are so important as well. Like you trust your body, and you know that your body is doing exactly what it needs to do at that time, and we're created for that. You know, God created us and our bodies for that. And yes, it speaks about labor pain, which is obviously natural because our body's opening up for another human to pass through. But it can totally be relaxed. It can totally be an absolutely different sense it could be a positive experience that you have and it's all down to practicing and making sure that you are in the right mindset for when that time comes as I always say pregnant, um, childbirth is like a marathon and you're not gonna just turn up and go to the London Marathon one day without training and getting your, your body ready and it's the same thing with childbirth now it's just the opposite instead of like doing all the things it's actually doing less things and relaxing um, when it's when it's important and I don't want to get it wrong I will make you think that it's just all about relaxation because I was super fit and energetic throughout my pregnancy as you guys know and I share so much in my book I was always active I was exercising every day I was doing all the things but when it came to and I was working part-time as well so but when it came to it at night I know that that's my wind down time and I took the time to relax and that's when I felt my baby kicking most of the time then I was very busy during that time because my body was dead on um, like slow mode you know what I mean my body was in relaxation mode and so she like she knew it even in the, even in the womb so um, yeah so that is when it comes to pregnancy and then let's go now into childbirth right when it comes to childbirth <laughs> let's speak about that <laughs> look at the little face let's speak <laughs> let's speak about childbirth so obviously as I said before like, because your body is so accustomed to this relaxation state and everything else when you're in that state in that um, that room or wherever you are your body is going to know exactly what it needs to do during childbirth because you have already trained it to relax okay yes you're gonna feel the surges which is like the pain and you're gonna feel the contractions which is like the, you know all the other sensations which is the pain and the surges which are the contractions you, you're gonna feel them obviously but to different people it's a different experience and obviously as I said before if you're training your body to do what it needs to do it will do it there's no doubt about that and if you keep affirming like you're gonna have a wonderful birth experience everything is gonna be well it absolutely will be perfect it absolutely will be well okay so um yeah and then i want to go into letting go as well because the thing about relaxation is about you letting go and trusting god because a lot of times when we, we don't relax because we think we have to do all the things i have to do this i have to do that if i don't do this this is not gonna happen if i don't do that this is not gonna happen which is absolutely not true a lot of times as us women we try to be all super women and try to do everything try to be the best wife try to be the best mother try to be the best co-worker or worker or manager whatever it is employee um below businesses do all the things right but many times a lot of things that we can let go of we can but we just convince ourselves that oh it's not going to operate without us being at this and doing that and all these things so let it go is about trusting god to know that he's going to take care of it having the faith to know that you know if you put certain things in place and you let go of it and you just take the time to take care of yourself and pamper yourself and do the things that you need to do for you and your baby it absolutely will work out okay so this is where i'm going with this like you know what so many times in our lives like we are so busy 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 and i don't even like to use the word busy i, I share this in my blog post because to me this world is all about being busy everybody just has this whole thing about busy like is this such a good thing and like it's as if you want to be awarded for being busy like absolutely not you do not have to be busy because so many people are busy but they're not even productive if you ask them what they've done throughout the day it's not there's not even anything to show about their busyness they're running around like headless chickens and they've not got anything accomplished i like to say i am productive and i have found it myself when i take the time out to do my own thing and to 
connect with myself and to do the things that I need to do that is when I am most productive and I always go back to my university days because that obviously was a really challenging time for me and especially now I'm doing my business this is like another challenging time for me but during my university days like I would study and I would always remember I would always take time to watch my show I would come back and I would relax and do yoga and go out I love to go out on the weekends I love adventure I love to travel and stuff like that I remember my classmates used to say to me like how are you always doing all the things and I was doing I was getting really good grades and I was doing really well in school I even worked part-time while in university and they're like how are you finding the time to do the things and as I shared before like one of my core beliefs core beliefs are so important the things that we believe within ourselves and that obviously those beliefs are gonna then um influence our actions and therefore our actions is our lifestyle and the things that we the results that we get and everything else um this is me trying to have the video while Zayn is eating all the twigs and everything else. But, um, yeah, so the thing is, with, with all of this, what I'm trying to say is that one of my core beliefs is that I always have the time to do the things that I want to do. It's always, it's always, it's just so, you know what I mean? Like, I'm always going to have all the time in the world to do the things that I want to do. It's just simple as that. I believe that and therefore time always makes its way Um makes its way for me allows me to do the things that i want to do and another another core belief that i have is that like you know i operate better when i relax i operate better when i am in flow like i take the time when i feel overwhelmed and i feel stressed i let go i trust god to know that i have done my bit and then he's gonna do the rest you know what i mean and that is so so important when it comes to um productivity and getting the outcomes that we desire because a lot of times we are go 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 doing all the things and then we are not seeing the results and we wonder why and it's because we don't take the time to appreciate ourselves and to love ourselves and to take the time out to relax to recuperate and do all the things another thing as well like i want to stress this because this goes on to all aspects of our lives right let's speak about like my my book i was able to write a book when zena was six weeks old and i've already published my book as i just spoke about and people are asking me like how did you find the time to do this book and i was relaxing so many of the times but a lot of times my flow came from just relaxing meditating visualizing praying you know spending time in prayer and spending time in god's word and i am telling you like many mornings when i do that and then i i sit down at night like everything will just flow 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 and i just write 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 like non-stop writing like guys i had to edit so much out of my book i had to take out so many things because it was so much about my life and i was like you know what this is my topic and i need to stay on topic but that's just to tell you it has so much information that's why i know that another book is in the works because i have so much to share and so much people say to me oh i've got writer's block which is true you do get writer's block but you need to trust yourself and you need to give yourself the space and the time to be like you know what yes i have a goal and this is what i want to do but i need to take the time out for me i need to get the material i need to be able to connect with me and my story and the things that i want to share all right and any good writer would tell you that like you can't just be like okay i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this no you've got to do the things that you need to do as well okay so um that is that for there okay, that was literally me chasing after Zena as she was trying to run on a dog okay but she's here now and she is doing well she loves to go on her own little trips doesn't she um yeah back to the story so I'm winding down now because obviously my arm is a bit tired I'm holding this thing up I know I wish I bought my tripod but anyway I had so much I wanted to share with you guys and so I was like you know what I'm gonna share it nonetheless it doesn't even matter so um, go ahead and get my book as I was saying it's on Amazon the power of hypnobirthing that's what it's called my pregnancy and empowering natural birth story and how it can help you all right this book is everything it's my story of course it's about my experience with my pregnancy and my hypnobirthing experience and my new motherhood journey but it's about a lot more it's about um you know the the way i live my life and the core beliefs that i'm speaking about and trusting and having faith relaxation i touch so many topics in that book it's unbelievable and it's perfect for you if you're expecting a baby or you're thinking of having a baby um you know so many times we have got to just trust we just gotta trust god and you guys know i live my life by faith i'm christian believer and i always believe like you know everything is working out for me it's not working against me and so many times especially since i've published my book i have felt like if things have been working against me but then i will go back to my core belief things are always working for me and therefore it's always gonna work out in my favor whether it's now or in the future it is 
and yeah that's what my book is about and I want you guys to read it because it speaks so much about life and it speaks so much about how we can change our belief system to create the experiences that we desire and that's what I love about hypnobirthing you know it's about changing the negative beliefs and the negative fears and the things that we've heard and the narratives that we've been told and we've subconsciously created in our minds and changing it into empowering ones things that are gonna um, impact us positively and this can use in every aspect of our lives and I share that in the book it's not just about hypnobirthing now obviously I had massive fears around birthing and pregnancy and it worked fantastically for me those of you who have not heard my story I want you guys to um, read my book as well as go on my website I have a video where I share so much more in depthly and I go into all of the mindset part of it which I love 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 as well like my core beliefs and the things that I was affirming each and every day and that what gave me the results that I have or I had or whatever it was right so you know, guys I want you guys to think on that like what are the thoughts that going in that's going to your head when it comes to you taking time out to relax is it you're thinking like it's about lazy people just relaxing and just like you want to do nothing obviously that's a completely different kettle kettle that's going on there's a different story because there are people who absolutely do nothing but if you know that you're a person who have goals and you have dreams and you do go go um chasing those dreams and you go after them and you take action then you need to take time off for yourself you do need to take time to pamper yourself you do need to take time to reconnect with yourself you do need to take time to do the things that are productive for you because this is you this is your body this is your mind and because you are obviously looking for experiences you're looking for results that obviously is based on you you've got to take care of that so what do you do for relaxation? Sometimes I love to take baths. Sometimes I do salt baths. I do Epsom salts in my baths. I do bubble baths. I haven't done it in a while though. Um, winter's coming up, so I might not do that. But as I shared in my book, I love to spend quality time with my family. I love to go out shopping. Um, I love to get my nails done every now and again. I love to watch my favorite shows. I love to read books. Like before, I used to read a lot of nonfiction. I used to love a lot of comedy books, but I haven't done that in quite a while. Um, what else I love to do? Like there's just so many amazing things. I've started to love to cook a bit more because I love to experiment. I love to bake. I bake quite a lot. Um, I used to actually. I don't bake as often now because I don't want to gain too much of a weight. But I do. Like yesterday, I did a banana bread with some chocolate chips, and it was amazing. I took it to my friend, and she absolutely enjoyed it. Like these are the things that I love to do. And I remember during my um, hypnobirthing practice, like I remember when I was feeling my Braxton Hicks and stuff. Like you know, I just did stuff. It was Christmas time, and I was baking. I was doing all the things and I just wasn't thinking about it and that's exactly what you need to do during um, your pregnancy and when it comes to childbirth and stuff like your body is already in tune to you relaxing and taking the time for you doing the things that you love and you just need to take your mind off of what's happening because when it's ready it will be ready that's Zena's head in my, my way when the baby is ready to come it will be ready to come and it's just your job absolutely to just relax allow it to move allow your body to do the work allow yourself to be calm and you know because obviously speaking about oxytocin those of you who have not seen my video on oxytocin go ahead and watch it it's below this video and i speak about how important that hormone is and a lot of times it is due to you just relaxing and just cuddling and doing all the amazing things that make you happy and oxytocin is what's going to help you to bring that baby down naturally and that's what's going to um give you the birth and experience that you desire so the more oxytocin that your body produces the better it is going to be for you so that's why i keep saying like during pregnancy don't stress like seriously take the time to do the things that you love i know it's so easy to stress out i mean you're thinking about a hundred things like oh my gosh this baby's coming you know finances this relationships whatever but just trust trust god that everything is going to work out pray journal i love journaling so much and journaling is such a good way to get things out out of you and out of your mind out of your head you know if you don't think you can speak to people if you don't think that they can understand journaling is a fantastic way to get things out and reaffirm certain things and change those negative beliefs all right those of you who know i spoke about the hypnobirthing journal that i'm working on absolutely amazing for you if you're going through the hypnobirthing experience and you just want to be able to journal out more things and work on that mindset it's going to be fantastic for you so look out for that as well um so yeah, that is it for me when it comes to relaxation. Uh, I'm going to spend some time with my baby girl now. I think she's been a bit fussy. And if you have any questions, please don't don't um, don't hesitate to leave it below. Share this video with your friends. I know I'm holding it in my hand the entire time. I did not bring my tripod. But go ahead and share it and let me know what you think. 
what you think about relaxation what you think about um is it hard for you to relax even if you're not pregnant or whatever it is and i share so much more about the power of relaxation during your childbirth and experience because with hypnobirthing is about trusting your body and therefore allowing it to do what it was created to do and that's what you need to relax you need to not overthink it you don't need to stress it you just need to let that baby come out when she's ready to come and that's what zena did within three hours she was out you know what i mean they didn't do anything and even before when i was feeling the pain on and you know the surge and the sensations or whatever it was i was on my medicine ball at home watching tv and you know trying to enjoy myself as much as I can because I wanted that oxytocin to flow all right okay so that's it my arm is getting tired and Zayn is getting a bit restless so thanks for joining me have a wonderful day a wonderful week the weather is lovely here in the UK and I don't want it to go I don't want it to go I don't want the winter to come take care and don't forget to check out my book on Amazon the power of hypnobirthing by Zanny B Davis go ahead and get it now it's on sale for a limited time until it goes to the full price um, at the end of the month you can also find it on my website where it will be for $10 so go ahead and get it now okay take care guys bye